Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Hey, what's going on down in hell? Millions of angels are arriving, pulling the damned out of their holes. The damned? Who are the damned? The damned are all those who died in their sins. Their bodies have long ago turned to dust. But the soul cannot die, and it's still alive today. All are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. At death, that lost soul instantly enters hell, where the Bible says, it will keep burning. It will feel pain and every emotion it had, when it was inside its body. Who made this horrible place? And why? A lot happened in heaven before hell was created. When God created the angels, one was more beautiful and wiser than all the rest. His name was Lucifer. Lucifer was given the highest position of power and honor, of any created being in heaven. He covered and protected the throne of God, in majesty and glory. By far, Lucifer was God's perfect angel. Thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created. But Lucifer turned against God. He thought he was equal to God, and that he should rule heaven. Lucifer conned a third of the angels to revolt and support him in the takeover. The most powerful being in the universe is God the Son, who created all things, including Lucifer. God threw Lucifer and his rebellious angels out of heaven. The Bible calls these fallen angels devils. Now, this powerful angel, Lucifer, became your most deadly enemy, Satan. God the Son, created a destination for Satan and his devils. He called this horrible place, Hell. Now, here's how we got involved with Hell. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils, the breath, of life. And man became the living soul. His name was Adam. He had a body, soul and spirit. Adam was created to live forever. God warned him not to eat from a certain tree. God said, For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. The devil also heard that warning. God gave Adam a beautiful wife. They lived in the Garden of Eden. Everything was perfect, and Adam ruled the world. Then, the devil moved against them. He got Adam and Eve to sin against God. Mankind was ruined. God threw them out of the garden. The devil became, the god of this world, to whom God gave all the kingdoms of the world. Everyone born after Adam is born spiritually dead. For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Who was the first to die, and have his soul cast into hell? Was it Cain? Adam and Eve's firstborn son, who murdered his brother Abel? If so, he's still down the screaming. But only God knows who was first, because he sees everything. From the beginning, the Lord has had his angels, recording all our actions and conversations, in a book, that will soon, be reviewed. That every idle word, that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Later, God saw that the wickedness of man, was great in the earth. The Lord said, I will destroy man, whom I created. Only one man, Noah, was righteous. God protected Noah and his family, while he destroyed the entire earth. God sent a flood that covered the whole planet. Untold millions died, and their souls poured into hell. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. Afterwards, their job was to be fruitful, and multiply upon the earth. Look. The devils survived too, because evil spirits can't drown. They watched Noah and his family come out of the ark. Here we go again. Fresh meat. 
the old devil, got back on his throne, and the war for souls, started over again. Noah's offspring, increased, but quickly forgot God. They built cities and became nations. Jerk. Nothing changed. We're still just like the crowd that God drowned. For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Then God, in an act of love, made a way for sinners to miss hell, and join him up in heaven. But, how could a righteous judge, allow sinners into heaven, without punishment? God had decreed that death, was the price of our guilt. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Someone had to die in our place. God the Father's only begotten Son, who created the universe, received a new assignment. To leave heaven, and be born as a baby, but why? Because he loved us enough to shed his blood, to die in our place. God said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Jesus is God's love gift for you. But when Jesus told them to turn to him to be forgiven of their sins, they hated him. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Today, all nations are ashamed of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Many will not allow it to be said in public. Jesus died a horrible death. His body was battered beyond recognition. All of his blood poured out, to pay for all of our sins. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. Over 500 people saw him alive. Before he returned to heaven, he promised to come again with his mighty angels to rid the world of evil. God's gift of forgiveness and eternal life in heaven, is absolutely free. Free? Yes. But you must believe that Jesus died in your place for your sins, and receive him as your personal savior. Like this. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Please save me. I believe you died for my sins. Please come into my heart and be my personal savior. And he will. Do you realize what will happen when you do that? That dead spirit inside you comes alive. You are born again and your soul is saved from going down into hell. All your sins have been washed away, and your name is written in the book of life. Your body is now a temple, because God lives inside you. Jesus says, And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Here's what's going to happen in the near future. Jesus will return at the Battle of Armageddon. All world leaders will be terrified. Jesus will destroy all of the armies of the United Nations attacking Jerusalem. Then Jesus Christ will become the supreme ruler of the whole world. Being God Almighty, he will reign for 1000 years. Those that are saved will reign with him. Jesus Christ will rule this world with a rod of iron. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, King of Kings, and the Word of God. Remove the damned from hell. Yes Lord. It's time for the Great White Throne Judgment. Angels enter hell to bring forth all the lost souls. Each one is taken before the Lord Jesus, to review that person's entire history, and to see if his, or her name is in the book of life. Does his name appear in the book of life? No, Lord. His name does not appear. God forbid, that you ever hear these words. The Lord will say to that soul, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels and it is cast into the lake of fire. The wicked insult God by rejecting his love gift to them, his beloved son, Jesus. God is jealous. The Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son 
shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Millions of people worldwide will end up in the lake of fire. Don't you be one of them. And as it is appointed unto men, once to die, but after this, the judgment. Here it is, Lord. If you believe on Jesus and receive him into your heart, you can know that you have eternal life, and a place in heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says, there's only one way to heaven. Jesus answered, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, except through me. God never dominates anybody. Wherever you encounter domination, it's something satanic. That's not how God rules people. But Satan's ambition is to dominate the whole world, not just some little part of humanity, through a kingdom of darkness to dominate the whole world. And because his kingdom is a kingdom of darkness, the people who are in that kingdom, for the most part, don't know what they're in. You see, the kingdom of God is a kingdom of light. If we're in the kingdom of God, we know where we are. Amen. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. This beautiful story is from Chick Publications. They have many good tracks that anybody can pass out on the streets, or leave them anywhere to be found and read. They have gospel tracks related for every religion and everyone. Witnessing made easy, with Chick. We will have a link to Chick tracks in the description area. You're only saved by grace through faith, by trusting in the gospel and by trusting in the blood of Jesus. The only way to know Jesus is to go all in with Jesus, and read his gospel. so sweet to trust in Jesus, and to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise And to know the saith the Lord Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him How I've proved him more and more Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh for grace to trust him more. Oh how sweet to trust in Jesus, just to trust his cleansing blood. And in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing.